Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing my cash envelope stuffing. Before I actually get into the envelope stuffing, I wanted to quickly share with you my separate spreads that I made for my cash envelopes on the left hand side and my checking account transfers on the right hand side. If you have already seen my video for my July budget, you can go ahead and take a look at that. It's pretty much a repeat of what I will be doing for the month of July. Without further ado, I'll just go ahead and get right on into the overview. Like I said, I'm going to briefly go over my tables that I have made. I did have a few mistakes here and there, but what can you do? Um, I have on the left hand side the cash envelopes, so I made a little table and I split it up into three different categories. So essentials, sinking funds, and expenses. Um, and then I put the budget here and then I broke it up between the two pay periods, so July 12th and July 26th. For groceries, I'm gonna be splitting that right down the middle, $50 for each paycheck. For eating out, I'm gonna contribute $50 for my first paycheck, and then for entertainment, $30. So that's gonna last the entire month. Fun is gonna get $60 and $60. Beauty is gonna get $15 and $25. The reason why I did this is because I'm gonna be contributing an additional $80 for this paycheck, so I wanted to offset it a little bit. Um, moving on to sinking funds, so birthdays is $20, I'm going to save the $20 for July 26, occasion is going to be $20, saving that again for July 26, Christmas is um, $40 and $40, car maintenance is $10 and $10. Moving down into expenses, so yard, cell phone, and car payment. Yard is going to get $60, so I'm going to be splitting that up. And then cell phone is $95. So the first pay period is $47. The second pay period is $48. And then for my car payment, it's supposed to be $342.13. However, in this highlighted area here, my goal is to pay $900 every single month for my car payment. So I will be saving $450 and $450. Now taking a look at the bottom section here. So at the bottom of the table, I wrote totals. So for the entire budget, that is supposed to equal out to $977.13. Um, but then for July 12th and July 26th, I have two different totals here. So with the $450 um, goal to save, I'm going to be taking out $782 for July 12th and then also $753 for July 26th. In addition, I like to also visually see what's going on. So calculated to save is from this number here. I have initial saving. So initially for July 12th, I should have been taking out or saving $503 and for July 26th that's $474.13. When you add those two together they come out to this number here. In the next row this is the actual saving. So $782 from here and then $753 from here. For each paycheck I'm going to be contributing more money. With that being said I'm going to be contributing $279 for July 12th and then $278.87 for July 26th equaling to an additional payment of $557.81 toward my car payment that is going straight to the principal amount. So $342 is going to go toward the actual loan and in this actual amount here $557.81 is being applied to the principal. Taking a look at my checking account transfers, I didn't want to leave this out because I do budget for this every two weeks as well. This is just a basic table, phone and internet association, car insurance, and iCloud. These categories, so the amounts that I save for these categories, they will stay in the checking account because I get my direct deposit in that account. So phone and internet, 7487, 4712, I will be leaving $37 in the account for $726.37.87. Association is $95.24. That's $47 for the first pay period, $48.24 for the second pay period. 
Car insurance is $73.27. First pay period is $36. Second pay period is $37.27. And then iCloud is just $1.04, which I will be saving in the first paycheck. Once again, I have the totals listed here. So that's $244.42 that I will be using my checking account to pay for my expenses. For the first pay period, I will be leaving $121.04. For the second pay period, that's $123.38. Next is vacation. So currently in my vacation fund, I have $2,000. I'm going to goal, well, set a goal to save at least $300, so that's $150 each pay period. And then once again, whatever is saved through um, out my paycheck, I will put into a savings account. Usually people like to put that additional money toward a debt. I'm already putting that $557 seen here toward my debt, and I don't wanna neglect my savings account. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take this just scratch sheet of paper and figure out my denominations that I will be taking to the bank. Now I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure that I got all of the calculations correct using my phone calculator. So that's what I'll do. So I did it correct the first time. That's good. Um, and so I'm going to get four $100 bills, 150, 13 20s, six 10s, two fives, and two ones. I'll head to the bank, get my denominations, and when I get back, we can go ahead and start stuffing the cash envelopes. Okay guys, so I am back from the bank. I have my money laid out, as well as organized my cash envelopes, and also got extra sheet trackers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the envelopes that I don't carry with me on a regular basis, starting off with my new car. Currently in this envelope, I do have $100 because I had some extra cash, so I figured why not save that money. So I'm gonna contribute $450. One, two, three, four, and 50. Two, three, four, and 50 and take out that tracker so I can write what I'm putting in. So I have well, $550 saved as of today. Next is going to be my phone bill, so that's going to get $47. Currently, I don't have anything in this envelope and I will not be putting a tracker because every month. So the first pay period, I'll put the initial money and then the second pay period, the day after, I usually give it to my mom. The next category is yard money. This is going to get $30. And in this envelope, I currently have $20 left over. So now I'll have 50. The next envelope we're going to take a look at is car maintenance. This is going to get $10. I'll just grab a $10 bill, put it on the side, and I currently have $45 in this fund. I'm going to go ahead and just add what I'm contributing. Next is Christmas money. So before I was contributing $45, but because of my budget, I have brought it down to $40. 
and I do have quite a bit of money saved up. I'm not going to count it because I already have the tracker here. So I have $340 in this envelope plus whatever I have in saving. Next is going to be birthdays, general. Um, usually I have birthdays for family, but because June has already passed, I only have my birthdays general. This is gonna get $10, and currently in this envelope, I have $60 saved. And lastly is occasions. I have $60 in this fund and then adding another 10. Okay, so now that those envelopes are finished, let's go ahead and move on onto the envelopes that I carry with me at all times. Um, starting off is going to be Beauty, so that's going to get $15. And where is my tracker? Oh, here it is. So I did have to go to my waxing yesterday. So we're adding $10 again. Next is food. Food is going to be getting $50. So 20, 40, and then 50. Next is fun money. So fun money is going to get $60. I don't have anything in here. We will start another tracker. So for this month, I did not budget for gas only because I have pretty much a full tank left that I filled up last month with and it's almost the big, like the middle of the month and I currently still have some money left over in my gas envelope and I'm most likely going to be using my card because if I use my card at Costco that's where I'm hoping to fill up again it's way cheaper than actually going to the regular gas station so we will be passing on the gas envelope and the last envelope I have is going to be the new envelope that I have added to my everyday cash envelopes is the dining out and entertainment I have allocated $50 for dining out and entertainment is $30 so that's $80 put together this is for when me and my boyfriend want to go out to eat or we want to go to a movie so 20 40 60 70 and 80 Okay, so we have all of our envelopes stuffed and ready to go for the next two weeks. These are the ones that I carry with me everywhere I go, and these are in a secured location. I also have my bullet journal that helps me keep myself accountable for how much I will be contributing for the month, and I already have July 26th pay period all figured out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next budgeting video or couponing video, whatever you watch. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.